Hi, my name is Adam Brown. I'm a physiotherapist with Cornerstone Physiotherapy in Toronto. FAI, or femoral acetabular impingement, is a painful condition affecting the hip joint. It is caused by a collision between the neck of the femur and the edge of the hip joint called the acetabulum. Oftentimes, this causes a tearing of a structure within the joint called the acetabular labrum. FAI is considered to be a significant risk factor in the development of osteoarthritis of the hip. Studies of people without hip pain have shown radiographic evidence of FAI in up to 19% of the population, but depending upon how the disease is studied, the prevalence values vary widely. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint. The ball is your femoral head and the socket in your pelvis is referred to as the acetabulum. There are three types of FAI. The first, CAM type, involves an excess bony growth at the femoral head-neck junction, causing it to collide with the normal acetabulum with movement. Pincer type involves a deeper hip socket where the acetabulum extends out over the femoral head too far causing it to contact the normal femoral neck with movement. The most common type of FAI is mixed and it involves both a cam deformity and a pincer deformity causing a collision between these two sites when the hip is flexed or internally rotated. Typically patients with FAI will describe anterior groin pain and sometimes will describe pain that comes around the entire hip or down the front of the thigh particularly with activities that involve hip flexion or internal rotation. FAI can be diagnosed with a good clinical exam and can be supported by imaging. Typically, the patient will report the same pain pattern described earlier. Also, they're likely to have a positive impingement sign, which is this movement here. They also sometimes will have a reduction in their hip range of motion particularly in the movements of flexion and internal rotation. X-rays designed specifically to look for a cam or pincer deformity can be taken. Also an MRI that is aimed at finding markers of the condition can also be obtained. Many patients can manage their FAI and resolve their symptoms using physiotherapy and modification of a few activities that are contributing to the problem. Physiotherapy should focus on strength and motor control of the lower extremity and pelvis. Specifically, the patient should learn exercises that prevent valgus alignment of the leg when standing or squatting. To do this, the therapist must first discover what is contributing to the poor lower extremity mechanics and skillfully prescribe exercises that will target the cause. Commonly, patients are found to have weak abductors of the hip and poor control of their pelvis in single leg stance. Muscle length and endurance should also be evaluated. It's important to improve movement quality using exercise, but we also must modify activities that are contributing to the impingement, including sleep positions, driving positions, work-related activities, or the patient's exercise routine. Some patients have large enough cam and pincer deformities that they still have symptoms even when their strength and control is great. For these patients, the range of motion of their hip joint is just not enough to be able to do their daily activities without causing impingement. For these patients, hip arthroscopy can help to eliminate symptoms. Typically, this involves a reshaping of the cam and or pincer deformity, as well as repair or removal of part of the acetabular labrum. These surgeries are done to eliminate symptoms. It's not yet known how arthroscopy affects the long-term prognosis for the patient's hip. Rehabilitation takes between five and 10 months post-op, depending upon the severity of the condition at the start. At Cornerstone Physiotherapy, we regularly help patients who have FAI. Whether you're hoping to avoid surgery, or if you need a trusted therapist to help you with your post-op rehab, give us a call.